I am going to make separate animation layers for the spine and for the arms. We'll start with the spine. I'll just select all of these controls up the spine. I'll take the head, the neck, the upper spine, and the lower spine, create a new animation layer for them. Let's call this spine anim layer. And now again, I will press S to start keyframing. At frame 12, I will take these curves and kind of tuck them in, except for the head. I think the head, I'll keep looking forwards because, you know, you want to look where you're jumping. Everybody wants to look where they're jumping. Maybe we'll make the neck a little more neutral too. But these we will curl down. At frame 18, if you look at the reference image, the reference image will tell you that the spine becomes a little bit hyperextended. So I will take these three curves and rotate them the other way so that they are just a little bit rounder. And of course we always want to look where we're going so I will unrotate the head a little bit. At frame 24 the reference image is just doing this crazy thing that your spine doesn't do. Your spine doesn't do that. Um, for my money, I think what they're trying to do is get the character to kind of curl up in midair. So I'm going to rotate a little bit forwards. And then at 30, for the landing, I will again hyperextend. And again, We'll just spline all of this, step all of this. Good, good, good. At frame 36, we should definitely be hunched over for our landing. So we'll take these curves, rotate them so that they are hunched. I'm even going to rotate the head so that the head is hunched. At this point, sometimes you just lose control of your head a little bit. Good, and at 42, again we want to go back to a neutral pose, so I will take all of these, all of them, and I will zero them out. And now we're getting a lot more life in that jump. It's starting to look a lot more jumpy. So I might as well do the arms while I'm here. In this case, I'm going to take all of the arm controls. I'll be animating the arms using FK. If you would prefer to use IK, go right ahead. IK is easier because it's only one control, but it's entirely up to you. I prefer an FK arm. So this will be my arm anim layer. And the first thing I'm going to do before I set any keyframes at all is I am going to start rotating the arm so it's at the character's side. This is going to be my first position right here, right here. It will also be my last position right there and right there. So I'll come over to frame 42, just so that I don't have to do this later. I will set a keyframe here and here, here and here.
back to my side view. As I move down into that squatting position, I want the arms to move back. So I'll take these two and again make sure that they are stepped. And then the same thing on the other side. There and there. Make sure that these are stepped as well. Properly I should be animating the elbows as well, but I need to leave something for you to do on your own. At frame 18, I will start pulling the arm up. I'll do a little bit from the clavicle control and I'll do most of it from the shoulder control. Same thing on the other side, a little bit from the clavicle and then most from the shoulder and it was not the angle I was expecting, but that looks kind of okay. I should probably go back and just see what I've done. No, that looks fine. As always, the rotate tool is not Maya's friendliest tool, so if you think that you need to go back and redo anything to get rid of some funny stretchy angles, go back and redo things. It's okay. It's not your fault. At 24, the arms will start coming down. Just a little bit though. We want to maintain some height up here. And again, we will make sure that those are stepped. Then at frame 30, the arms go way up over the head, way up over the head. Way up over the head. At 36, as a reaction move, the arms are going to come way down, swing all the way back, and the same thing on the other side. The arm will come way down. and the shoulder will swing all the way back. And then at frame 42 we go back to neutral. So now if I look at my positions, we'll just play this animation again. That's what my arms are doing. You can see that the elbows would really help and I'm sure that if you're animating you can take a moment here and you can get those elbows and it's gonna look great. For me, I'm going to pause this video here. When I get back, we will start splining. <laughs>